Auditory Neuropathy Spectrum Disorder, or ANSD, is a hearing disorder first described in the mid-1990s. It's unique because it presents with intact outer hair cell function, evidenced by normal evoked otoacoustic emissions or cochlear microphonics, but with abnormal or absent auditory brainstem responses. This condition involves issues with how sound is processed rather than detected. NSD isn't limited to problems in the cochlear nerve. It can also involve defects in the inner hair cells, the synapses, or even synchronization issues in the signal transmission from the ear to the brain. This broader understanding led to the term auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder. Prevalence rates vary, but ANSD is estimated to occur in up to 1 in 10 children with permanent hearing loss. Symptoms typically include difficulty hearing in noisy environments, fluctuating hearing sensitivity, and speech perception that doesn't match the audiogram results. The causes of ANSD are diverse, including genetic, congenital, and acquired factors. Risk factors include extreme prematurity, severe jaundice requiring exchange transfusion, low birth weight, intrauterine growth restrictions, and other neurological conditions like hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy or intraventricular hemorrhage. Genetic links include conditions such as Friedrich's ataxia, Charcot-Marie tooth disease, and mutations in the ODUF gene. Diagnosis relies on electrophysiological tests due to the varied manifestations of ANSD. The approach to managing ANSD is highly individualized, especially in children. For some, hearing aids or cochlear implants may be beneficial, but this isn't always the case. Children with cochlear nerve hypoplasia or absence on MRI often have poor outcomes with cochlear implants, and some may not be suitable for implantation at all. For those undergoing cochlear implantation, the presence of atypical or absent electrically evoked compound action potentials can also indicate poorer outcomes. This heterogeneity in cochlear implant success may be linked to other comorbidities or the inability of the implant's electrical stimulus to synchronize neural signals adequately. Given these complexities, a stepwise approach involving a specialized multidisciplinary team is crucial for guiding the treatment and support of patients with ANSD. Each patient's needs must be carefully assessed to determine the most appropriate intervention, whether that be hearing aids, cochlear implants, or other strategies.